What is up guys, welcome back to Review Space, and I just want to talk about some latest video game news. Uh, first things up, a brand new Xbox is supposedly um, supposed to come out in the next 18 months or so, apparently, but this was actually kind of one of these things that you could misinterpret, or maybe the journalists uh, misinterpreted. They said something along the lines of, um, there's going to be an updated version of like Windows and all these other services of uh, Microsoft. And they also included, you know, there's going to be a new Xbox. Now, Microsoft has actually tried to correct it and said, well, no, it's actually just going to be an updated version of Xbox Live uh, this fall. But yeah, people are saying that, you know, this is, it was it maybe a slip up either a slip up or it was just they're trying to cover it up but it's actually an actual system I mean we know that there's gonna be a new system in the works anyway there's gonna be a new console the Xbox 720 or whatever it's gonna be called so we know it's coming out anyway I mean Microsoft's see look the reason Microsoft is trying you know to cover this thing up and be like, oh, no, no, it's not, Wait, it's actually Xbox Live, is because they don't want people to get too excited and be like, well, I might as well start saving now and wait for, you know, whatever, a year and, you know, four months or something. And they, they want people to keep spending their money and keep buying um, current products of Microsoft. They still want people to buy Xbox 360s. Whether, whatever model, you know, slim 360s and things like that. They want people to buy the games. They want people to continuously, you know, buy connect, connect, rather. Um, and supposedly, like, when the new Xbox, whatever it is, comes out, it's going to be priced at around $299, so $300, packaged with the next version of Connect, so uh, a new iteration of Connect. Supposedly, these are just complete rumors. So there you go, you can take that news however you like. Yeah. I understand Microsoft trying to cover it up, you know, if it really is just an update to Xbox Live, but I mean, they, people are saying that this Xbox 720 would come out around early 2014. So 2000 for, 2014 at the latest. Um, so, so it's pretty much guaranteed that there's going to be a new console anyway. It, they're bound to announce it probably next E3 uh, next year so all right we also have some news regarding the last guardian which was this long-term developed game uh, exclusive for Sony this was supposed to come out for the PS3 and this thing has been around for years now you know I mean the last guardian you know the same people I guess that made you know shadow of the Colossus eco of course it, it is Tim eco um, as far as the game itself, you know, I'm not too excited. It doesn't look too good. You know, I'm, I can't, I honestly don't feel too excited about it because I never played the first Eco. Um, I never, I don't have any intentions to either. I, it just doesn't look like the kind of game I'd like. I did enjoy Shadow of the Colossus. That was a really good game. Great adventure slash puzzle game. It was definitely a unique game. Um, I love the boss designs. I love the the music. Everything about that game was pretty much, um, you know, perfect. But that was a long time ago. Shadow of the Colossus was a while ago. Now you have, um, the Last Guardian, which is you're basically this young man, and then you have this pet giant dog creature thing. It just looks weird. It's a weird looking creature. I mean, it's not quite a dog because it's got all these feathers and it's got like a talon foot, talon feet. When it comes to these, you know, these animals that are like a mixture of real animals, I just get confused. You know, I just get like, ugh. This is like complete fantasy slash nonsensical thing. Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. I'd rather have like a really different unique creature, like I'd rather have a, a dragon to be honest. You know, actual fictional creatures, you know, like um, something that's just so imaginative and outrageous. Not just like, okay, let's take a dog, uh, make it a giant size, but then give it feathers and instead of feet, we give it um, bird, feet, bird feet, talons. 
I'm just like, what the hell is this? You know, this sucks. You know, it's a crappy design for a character. It's just, it's it's dumb. You know what I mean? It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, you might as well have like a bear mixed with a fish. You know, a, a bear with scales and freaking mermaid tail. I mean, how random can you be? Um, I mean, I like the concept of, you know, you have this giant creature that doesn't really speak, but rather it's everything's like body language and animal language kind of thing. You know, uh, it's alright. Uh, you know, speaking of Shadow of the Colossus, I mean, I would rather have like an actual Colossus creature, you know, from Shadow of the Colossus. Like one of those creatures, like I, I really like the, uh, you know, the horse uh, giant colossi. You know, I, I love the... The, the one that could fly, you know, the sort of the hawk or eagle, colossi, something like that, you know, that would be sort of cool. You're able to ride it around and stuff like that, you know, I mean, why not something like that? Or maybe a, a giant frog, you know, a giant frog colossus type of creature. Anyway, as far as The Last Guardian, I believe Sony has now retracted or take, like abandoned their, what is it, the, the legal kind of rights to the last guardian title itself they're not pursuing that but rather they're still working on the game they haven't abandoned the actual development in the of the game but it's the i guess the pride the project has been stalled or just delayed at the moment or something like that i mean it's just kind of confusing anyway it doesn't seem like they're going to actually go forward with the last last guardian title it's probably going to be titled something else which would be a good idea. I never actually liked the title itself, Last Guardian. I actually thought it sounded kind of generic, you know, kind of... Just, just doesn't stand out. It's not interesting enough. Like, you got Eco, which is like, okay, Eco, that's kind of a unique word. And then you have Shadow of the Colossus. So it's, yeah, that's pretty cool. And then the Last Guardian, which it's okay, but it just doesn't sound epic enough. Um... Okay, now let's move on to some Nintendo news. This one, it's not too big of a deal, but apparently some um, either leaked photos or just some news of the actual design of the Wii U game boxes, like the, the box art design. It's been shown, and it actually resembles GameCube uh, design. Basically, you have that curve at the top, but it, instead of color with the GameCube, it's actually colored blue, and then you have the Wii U logo on the front. So, it, it's kind of a cool throwback to the GameCube days. So, I mean, it, it looks like a, you know, a pretty uh, standard cover for a video game. So, that's it. That's pretty much it. It's been confirmed, by the way, by Nintendo. Yeah, I guess it's official. Wii U is... It's about to rock and roll. I can't believe that the Wii U is about to come out. It's crazy. Just a few months from now. I mean brand new system from Nintendo. How crazy is that? Alright, so that's it for this episode of Review Space and the uh, current video game news. I just want to talk about these two topics. They seem pretty interesting, so that's pretty much it. Till next time, ciao!